What's up, Sam Monics? Welcome back to a new vlog episode. And this week, we are finally getting into the Stack Overflow 2020 developer survey. I waited for a long time for the results. Now they are in. Because the survey is quite big, we will only look at the technology part. So um, at the statistics uh, describing the languages used, the most loved languages, databases, frameworks, uh, other services related to that. It is really a huge uh, survey, so if you want to see more about this and let me go through all the other parts, just leave a comment. And of course, before watching this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We have recently crossed the 30k subscribers. Thank you for this. Um, just 70k more. Anyway, now let's dive into some data and some statistics. Alright, developer survey, here we come. Uh, you can find this simply search for Stack Overflow 2020 developer survey and you will also find this. I actually started recording this video going through the developer profiles, but I noticed that after going through all of these stats in the developer profile section, I had actually already 10 minutes of video and we haven't even covered technology or work. So I will skip the developer profile, you can check it out. Um, there are problems with this survey as well in terms of who responded, um, age, country, um, ethnicity, race, um, gender, but we will not focus on the issues of that uh, part right now, but we will get into the technology, uh, which is what we want to talk about. So most popular technologies. I haven't been to this part of the survey yet, so I'm really excited to see, yeah, JavaScript, of course, at the front. And also for professional developers. Interesting. I thought JavaScript would suck. And also I thought HTML wouldn't be a language. <laughs> a lot of interesting insights in here. Um, well, okay, everything's included, programming, scripting, and then markup. So uh, you see, if you got basic skills, HTML, JavaScript, um, perhaps some sort of database with SQL, you're already uh, like a lot of other professional developers and you're on a good way to get a job. Followed by uh, other technologies like Python, of course, always important for um, data, I think for machine learning, also Python is very at the front, Java, of course, still there, Bash. Um, TypeScript, um, pretty uh, far up, I would say, for its age. Uh, already take over PHP and other good languages. Um, Swift, pretty, pretty down, 6%. That's not a lot. Where's Kotlin? Okay, 8. Not a lot as well. Uh, and then Objective-C and some other. Julia, I have never heard about the programming language called Julia. Actually, everything else I've seen so far already, but Julia? Never heard about it. If you use it, please let me know. Web frameworks, frameworks. Uh, let's see, jQuery, of course, still at the top. It's used in a lot of places and you won't get it out, uh, out of there easily. Second place, React, okay, that's fine. And Angular, third. I'm interested, um, this doesn't really change a lot if you switch between all and professional developers um, just a bit down here. ASP.NET Express still are already quite at the top. So if you're using Node or simply Nest.js, you're also basically using Express, which is pretty interesting uh, that you're quite far at the top. Vue.js, I guess, will continue to rise even more. AngularJS should decline over the next year simply because it's not used for any new project anymore. Uh, then we got some Python and PHP stuff, Ruby on Rails. Uh, I don't know why Ruby on Rails is so far down. I still know about a lot of people using Ruby on Rails and enjoying it. Um, but well, so using anything like Angular, React or perhaps Vue, you see is totally a legit way to get started in this world. Uh, really far up in this survey and used in a lot of places. Uh, other frameworks, Node.js, uh, very much at the top because I think it's used in a lot of places. Um, .NET, yeah, I feel sorry for you. Um, then we got React Native. Is Ionic actually? I don't think Ionic would be included in something like this. Well, perhaps it's disguised at Cordova. Mm, I actually don't know. I I would assume since there are other technologies in here that Ionic should be somewhere because I think there's definitely a uh, share of developers using Ionic. Perhaps that is included in Node.js? Um, 
really not sure. Let's see if we will find Ionic at some point in this journey. Database, MySQL still at the top. Um, even if you think Mogo, MongoDB or anything uh, NoSQL related is the future, MySQL is still used in a lot of places by a lot of professional developers. Um, uh, basically everything up here is SQL and then MongoDB is the first no SQL I would say um, still I really enjoy using MongoDB and I think it will be a very legit alternative to uh, relational databases but don't feel bad about using SQL um, still totally fine to use interesting to see that Firebase makes an appearance in here with almost 14% already um, so I think that's not really bad for Firebase. Platforms, uh, Linux at the top, um, maintain the top spots for most platforms with over half reporting they've done development work with them this year. Uh, also see year growth in the popularity of containers. Yeah, the containers, of course, Docker and AWS are rising. Um, I still enjoy my Mac really today. You can uh, code on any of these platforms. Windows has a great shell by now. And I thought about using it, but I just like my Mac. Um, I like how it works. I'm used to it since, I don't know, 10 years perhaps already. So I will just stick to it until it really uh, me up uh, at some point. But this point might happen in the future. But for now, I'm fine. Um, rest WordPress. Interesting. That is a platform. <laughs> interesting most loved dreaded and wanted languages uh let's see uh, most loved is rust and second place is already typescript that's a pretty strong place for typescript i would say uh followed so typescript is taking over python and one of the loved languages i occasionally see tweets on twitter where people think typescript sucks i don't need typescript and i think this clearly indicates that most of the people really enjoy using TypeScript and like it. There's also something to this Julia language, which is pretty uh, far up. I really have to look it up soon. Um, most dreaded. <laughs> okay, Objective-C wasn't that bad. Come on, Perl Assembly C. Okay, I can. Ruby, is Ruby really that bad? I don't know. Okay, Java, I can, yeah, I can quote that. Haskell, I always hated Haskell and <laughs> university um, now javascript here again come on typescript well they loved and hated oh, well whatever most wanted python and javascript okay fine <laughs> anyway uh web frameworks uh let's see where angular comes in here most loved asp.net core hmm interesting yeah react and view of course here angular a bit further down the list um i guess not everyone loves it angular can be really tricky at some point most dreaded yeah i guess there are really a lot of questions about angular but oh uh, this is angular js i just noticed uh, the real angular comes in here so it isn't that bad uh, most wanted um yeah React is number one in most of these statistics, but uh, Angular is usually uh, somewhere close below. Uh, other frameworks and libraries. Um, okay, is there anything interesting for us in here? No, let's let's skip this. Uh, databases, yeah. Okay, most <laughs> interesting date. The the hated or dreaded uh, part is always quite interesting. <laughs> I don't know why some appear at the top of the one list and then uh, pretty close somewhere in the second list. Um, yeah, well. Uh, the platforms most dreaded, of course, are WordPress. Oh, okay. Yeah, Heroku. I have no problem with Heroku, so I really never had any issues with Heroku. Um, not sure why. Most wanted Docker and AWS. Yeah, I can understand this. I would also love to use them. I really have to get into this. So, development environment tools. Uh, Windows, Mac, okay. I, I couldn't care less. Everyone uh, who, what they like. Collaboration tools, yeah, GitHub and Slack are of course still the tools of choice for most. Jira also used, um, nothing really fancy in here, I would say. Uh, researching tool, um, start of interesting. Uh, when researching new tools, over three fourths of respondents like to try the tool for themselves via a free trial. Good, the Ionic Academy has a $1 trial for 14 days that you can join right now. No, seriously. Um, as a developer, we always want to test things and 
that's also the reason why I have the free mode with Kickoff Ionic because I for myself know that I usually want to try something before I buy it and especially as a developer this is just true. Uh, with regards within their organization, um, okay, how much influence people have within their organization, uh, I guess in most companies the developers don't have too much influence and just the engineering managers or just some positions uh, above have the influence on the tool selection. Now top paying technologies, I think that's also interesting for a lot of you. What languages are associated with the highest salaries worldwide? <laughs> Perl, Scala, Go. Okay, go ahead and learn these languages. <laughs> um, I think this is now really a tricky category because um, yeah, this is global and this is United States. I think the United States salaries are really also very different. Um, in the Bay Area, this might be even more. Uh, if you live in the center of the United States, this might be a lot less. Because if you had like the same amount of money in the center or south of uh, in the United States, I think you will live like a king. Um, also in other countries in the third world. Um, well, I think this is really a, a hard um, chart to read for, um, yeah. It's really, it's really hard to have the median of this because uh, in every country this is different. It's different how much uh, in tax you pay, but well, I think you can just earn with every language a good amount of money. So don't make it depend on the language. Pick the language you enjoy the most um, and think about the field if you want to work with the Julia language. I really don't know this language. That makes me. Um, pick the language for the job you want to have. If you want to be a mobile developer, go with Swift or Kotlin. If you be a web developer, pick React, Angular, Vue, anything like this, and then just make your way. Um, you will get paid enough. So, correlated technologies are connected. Yeah, well, um, this always looks interesting, but I don't know if this gives a lot of information. I would like to zoom into this. No, not possible. Well, yeah. I guess I or most of us live somewhere here with the SQL databases, JavaScript, Express, React, something like this. But we have sometimes uh, work to do in other of these categories as well. But yeah, interesting, but well, learning and problem solving. Uh, we are how frequently they learn a new language or framework. Um, at least every few months or once a year. Well, uh, I don't know if you should really learn a new language or framework every month, uh, every few months or once a year. Um, I think this category is fine every few years. Um, if you have a job, if you have a decent knowledge about the technology, just stick to that for now. Uh, it really takes time until you become like, let's say, an Angular expert. I wouldn't say I'm an Angular expert. I'm kind of a bit an Ionic expert, but there are still a lot of things I don't know about Ionic. So I wouldn't recommend to switch languages and frameworks every few months. Definitely not. What do you do when you get stuck? Well, usually you visit my channel or my blog or the Ionic Academy and ask a question, but it seems like 90% also visit Stack Overflow. Yeah. Of course, I do the same. Uh, I sometimes also visit my own pages, <laughs> but uh, that's a different story. Already visited feeling, I saw this before. Uh, we asked you how they feel when they search for a coding solution online and the first result link is purple because they already visited the link. This really happens to me a lot of time. Hello, old friend, 50%. Um, definitely, hands up, uh, I had this feeling before. Um, I'm just really bad at you know, remembering some of these things. I would really love to go with you through the word category as well, but I think for today, um, going through the technology section is enough. All right, that's it so far for the technology category of the developer survey. Uh, I found this quite interesting because uh, we could see that TypeScript, Angular, a lot of JavaScript was really uh, in a lot of categories at the top, not only in the hated categories, but really in the categories where it mattered. We as JavaScript developers, perhaps front-end, perhaps uh, back-end with Node or Nest, perhaps full-stack, can be really confident about the skills and the languages that we use because they are widely used, they are used by a lot of developers, they are used by a lot of companies, there are a lot of jobs around this field. We can really feel good about this ecosystem, which I think will still exist in 
at least a few years. If you are still based on old languages, um, they're like 20 years old and now start to decline in this survey, you should really think twice and perhaps get into something new that has a better chance of getting a job or uh, a jobs, uh, freelance jobs in general in the future. If you want to check it out, just look up Stack Overflow Survey 2020. If you also want to talk about the other parts of this uh, survey, which are, for example, the work part, um, the spread of jobs, and I think it's also a bit still related to salaries, let me know in the comments and we will have another video. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go take a look and see all the detailed stats for yourself once again. I hope you will have a great week of reading through the statistics and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding, Simon. <laughs>